Hello everyone, this is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is Tech 15. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a bit of a different topic. I'm going to be talking to you about ADA compliance or accessibility for those who are differently abled. I'm going to be starting a bit of a new series or a series of videos here on Tech 15 about different things that you can do with technology tools and online tools that you can use to make your online classes videos, online materials, subjects, items, things that you offer in class, on your library websites, tools, and whatever it is that you might need to make them more accessible for all of your students in every way. We're going to have videos on transcribing, we're going to have videos on closed captioning. We're going to have videos on all different types of things. And today I'm going to be focusing specifically on some transcription tools as well as some closed captioning tools. So let me go ahead and get started. When you're looking at doing closed captioning for videos, and today I'm going to specifically talk about YouTube videos for closed captioning, you have two different parts that are involved in closed captioning. First, you have to transcribe. And secondly, you have to close caption because when someone is watching your video, you want to be able to have closed captioning so that not only can they hear the video, but for those who might have hearing disabilities or for those who just happen to have some learning situations where closed captioning might be an enhancement, you can have the closed captioning for those who that can aid in their learning situations. When you've got transcriptions, you transcribe what it is you're saying in your video and then you can also put your transcriptions into your video for the closed captioning. People do this different ways. Some folks like to go ahead and transcribe and then read from their script. Some folks like to go ahead and do the video and then transcribe from the video. Different people do it different ways. I don't tend to read from a script. I tend to speak on the fly, edit, and then record my videos and transcribe from there. Everyone does things differently. I'm not going to tell anyone who's doing things right and who's doing things wrong. That is completely your own practice. But I'm going to show you some different tools to help you out today. Right now you're looking at my home screen. And the reason why you're looking at my home screen is because I actually have a tool available and up called Dragon Naturally Speaking. Now this is one of the few tools I'm going to ever show you that is not free. Now Dragon Naturally Speaking does have a couple of tools that are free. There is a Dragon Naturally Speaking app that is free. There's a couple of different apps that are with them that are also free and they will record. You can record MP3 recordings of your voice. You can take those, you can transcribe those, but the really nice thing about Dragon Naturally Speaking, and I actually have it here at the bottom of my screen, is in the tools bar you can click on tools, you can go to transcribe a recording, and you can take an mp3 from a video that you've created from Jing, Screencast-O-Matic, if you have the paid for tool Camtasia, any type of recording you can take this from an mp4 and convert it over to an mp3 but as long as you have an mp3 file any recording digital recording an mp3 file you can take that transcribe recording and then you can actually pull and browse grab the location I'm going to grab this Hemingway app a mp3 that I had already recorded you click transcribe and it will actually transcribe what the person has been saying in the recording for you. Now, it is not 100% accurate. You do have to go in and do some editing. You'll see here in a moment that it is not completely correct. At this point, because one thing that is really nice about Dragon speaking naturally is that it learns and remembers who you are and you can also set up user profiles, multiple user profiles, and it will learn and remember who each user is. And so what happens is, is it actually learns and remembers who you are and gets smarter with every use. So I've now moved up from 50% accuracy and I'm up to about 90% accuracy. So a 20, 30, 40 minute class talk for one of my classes now takes me only about half an hour to correct after I have transcribed it. So I'm going to cancel that. So you can see how it works. I'm not going to keep my changes. So that is one tool to transcribe. I'm going to exit Dragon for the moment. Another tool that you might like to use, which does put more of the work on you, is O-Transcribe. 
O-Transcribe is a completely free tool created by the incredibly lovely and wonderful people at MIT. This is another tool where you can choose an audio or video file. It used to only be audio MP3, but now they've made it even better, and you can choose a video file or a YouTube video. You drag it, you drop it, and then you can transcribe below. Very simple, very easy. This does not transcribe for you. While the video is playing, so if again I went over here and I chose a particular file, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to pick the history pin MP3 that I have right here. It would actually play the video up top. I can play it. I'll play a little bit for you here. Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate. Today we're looking at history. I can slow it down, do it assistant, and, and then I can transcribe. Today we're looking at history pen, which has a tagline of a global community collaborating around history. We're here at the homepage, which has the URL of history pen. And then you can go from there and you can continue. And you can save it, or you can copy and paste and put this into a Word document, depending on what it is that you're interested in doing. Slowing it down makes it a whole lot easier to be able to transcribe. And if you click on the speed button, this also makes life a whole lot easier going backwards and forwards. You can hit the F3 button to slow down. You can hit the F4 button to speed up. If you go really, really slow, interestingly, you sound like you're drunk. Um, and then F1 is to go backwards, F2 is to go forward, and Escape is to stop and start. Things like that. So that's O transcribe. So you have two tools now to transcribe. If you are interested in using Vimeo videos, Vimeo does allow you to close caption. And I used to use Vimeo videos, but you do have to transcribe your video in full and then insert your transcription in full with your video. YouTube, on the other hand, will actually work with Google Translate to transcribe your video for you and you can go in and transcribe. So this is the last part of the video for today. If I am in my channel, I'm going to go to my full channel that I have here. These are all of my videos that I have on the Tech 15 video channel. And if I actually go over to my video manager, it's up here in the top, in the center, you will get a listing of all of your videos and editing. And when I go to that editing, you want to make sure that you choose, first you can go to your main editing, you want to make sure that in advanced settings you choose English so that it will know which language. From there, I also can do the drop down menu of all of my different settings, enhancements, audio, annotations, and also subtitles and closed captioning. And then I have two options. I can go to English and I can upload a file with my full transcription. I can transcribe and I can copy and paste and I can do a full transcription here by hand. I can copy and paste from a transcription from Drag and Speak, O Transcribe, or a Word document. Then I can set my timings and save them. Or my other option is I can do English Automatic. And English Automatic is where I have Google Translate has automatically transcribed my video for me and I can go in here and I can edit. This is not 100% correct. You can go through and see that there are some things in here that are not right. Sometimes they can be very amusing, I will be honest. But again, as opposed to writing an entire video transcript from scratch, I can go in here and edit. And this video, for instance, is 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I can probably have this edited in about 10 minutes. So transcribing is pretty quick, pretty easy, and once I'm done, I save it, I publish it, and after that, I am done. So that this one has not been edited yet. When I'm completely finished, you'll notice that my Socrative student response system is in HD. It's also in closed captioned. And when I go to Socrative, hello everyone. This you'll is see Heather Warfield Lang, and this is that Tech my video 15. is closed Today captioned. I'm going to be talking to you down about below. a great website that I've been using. So this is just a quick video on making your online tools, materials more accessible for your students, for your users. This video has specifically focused on transcribing as well as closed captioning.
We will have more videos and information for you soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.